Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to do a bare metal restore using the Veeam agent for Windows. So this is a free software program you could use to do anything from volume backups to file level backups to image backups. So what we're going to do is the uh, bare metal restore here and then we're going to take that uh, restored image there or backup image and then restore it to a different computer. So let's say your hard drive dies, uh, you could put in a new drive and then just run this again to restore it. Or let's say your computer dies altogether and you get a brand new computer, you could recover this, uh, your Windows installation to another computer. So depending on how different the hardware is between the old and new, you might have some issues, but it should work okay. So what I'm going to do is do the uh, backup on this computer and then restore it to a similar uh, computer so it'll be on a different computer. So to do so, there's two, two steps to the process. You need to create your uh, recovery image here or recovery media. And then you also need to create a backup. So it doesn't matter what order you do it. Uh, we're going to create the recovery media here first. When you install the program, it'll ask you right away if you want to do it. So it's up to you to do it at the beginning or you can do it later. Okay, so it's going to make an ISO image file. And it's going to include the network connections and hardware drivers. And then you have optional information to include decryption keys and storage and network uh, drivers if you have anything, you know, different that you might need to do, like a, some kind of SCSI adapter maybe, or that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to choose next here, and then we've got to put it where we want to make the ISO file. So you could put this wherever you like and just make sure you take this ISO file, either burn it to a disk or make a bootable uh, flash drive from it, because that's what you got to do to start the computer. So for now, we're just going to put it on the backup drive E. That's fine. And if the share requires credentials, you could put that in there. So next, and then create. So this takes a little time, so we'll let this run, and then we'll either just uh, pause the uh, video or fast forward, and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so recovery, uh, recovery media has been created. Let's take a look at the ISO file here. So there, there we go. This file is 741 megabytes. So what you need to do with this is get it off the computer and either burn it to a disk, you know, CD, DVD, and then uh, you could have that ready to boot with, or you can make a bootable flash drive using something like Rufus and then get it ready to go for when you need to, to use it because to recover the computer, you're going to have to boot to this to get it going. All right, so now that that's done, the second step, so we've got to run the Veeam agent. Okay, so now we're going to name our backup job here. Let's call this PC Backup. Next. Okay, we're doing a volume backup. Uh, you would think you'd want to do an entire computer, but you can't use this option for... Uh, internal drives and so on. It gives you some error saying it doesn't want you to do it. So I think it's kind of like a flaw in the program, but this will work too. So we're going to do volume level backup. So we're going to do operating system. And then you can show the hidden volume. So it's going to do the EFI system partition as well in the system. So right there. Okay, that looks good. So we're going to do the local storage again, back to that drive. You could do, you know, shared folder if you have a SIF share or NAS device. Or if you have a Veeam Veeam backup repository, you can't do one drive unless you're just doing a system uh, partition recovery. So don't even bother with that. Okay, so we're going to do next. We'll put it on that same E drive. We don't need any of these advanced options because they're just doing it at a one one time deal here. We're not going to run this daily. We're just going to do it one time. You, you could do it daily if you want to keep your uh, image up to date. Okay, so there's a summary. We're going to click Run the Job when I click on Finish. Okay, so now that's running. And this will take some time to run because it's going to uh, do the whole volume. And actually have this process completed here so we don't have to wait for the whole thing. So I'm just going to cancel this out here. But normally you just wait till it's 100% and then you got your backup. Okay, so now we have our ISO um, bootable file there. And then we also have the backup image on a separate disk. So obviously you're not going to put your backup image on the uh, 
C drive because you know that's where it's going to restore the files from. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take the backup file that was made on the second process and, and take that hard drive, stick it in a different computer, and then take this uh, recovery media that we made, the ISO file, and mount it on another computer, and then boot that up, and we'll start the recovery process. So we'll be right back for that. Okay, so press any key to boot from CD. So it's booting from this ISO file that's either uh, created on a CD, DVD, or a bootable flash drive. Okay, so it gives you some other options, the Windows Recovery Environment, or you could use some of the tools here to try and do some diagnostics, but we're going to do the bare metal recovery here. So we're going to click on that. Okay, so it found the uh, backup file. It says it's on the C drive, you know, because it's not running Windows yet. We're just loaded off the uh, ISO file, so don't get confused by that. Okay, so then you also have the network storage option if you made it on a network storage. Okay, so we click on Next. So here's our restore point here, created less than a day ago. It's a full backup. Windows 11 Pro. It's got the right computer name. Volumes included, the C drive. So now you have the option to do the entire computer, just some volumes, or manual restore. So we're going to do the entire computer because, you know, in this scenario it crashed completely. And we're on a different computer here, new computer hardware. Okay, so we got the uh, restore computer name, restore point, full restore, and so on. So click on restore. So this process, of course, will take some time too, so we'll have to fast forward or pause for this as well. Okay, so the restore process finished there. It wasn't too bad, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So let's uh, go ahead and click on finish. Restore has been completed. Reboot computer now. Yes. So now that everything's been copied from the restore or the backup to this uh, C drive on this new computer here, we'll see what happens here. So now it should be loading Windows. Okay, so now it's configuring the hardware it found. Okay, let's go ahead and put in our pin that we had on the old computer. Okay, so now we have our same desktop with the same uh, shortcuts on here, same background image. Click on start. We got the same programs right there on the start menu. So it looks like it worked here. Let's see what the uh, files look like. So we have our C drive here. Here's the backup drive. It has the ISO file that we made in the first step, and then the backup files from the second step that it used to recover the computer with. And of course, the C drive with all the appropriate files there. So, okay, to summarize, so like I said, you need to uh, close that. Re create your recovery media, which will make an ISO file that you need to get off the computer, put on a bootable flash drive or a bootable CD or DVD, and then you need to run the Veeam agent, do a volume level backup onto a separate drive that you could remove, and then either, you know, if you're putting it in a new computer, obviously you want to take that second drive out and install in the new one, or if you're just restoring the uh, existing computer, you can leave it in there, and then you know just overwrite what's on the uh, C drive there. So also keep in mind, too, whenever you make this... Uh, backup image here, if you make changes, it's not going to be on the backup. So your restore point's only going to be as current as your current backup here. So keep that in mind. So you might, if you make this restore a month you know, later, or a month before you have to restore, then your files and stuff aren't going to be updated. They're going to be a month old. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download the software and it's free to use. And then you could uh, give it a shot for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.